Welcome to Trains 21. In addition to this YouTube channel, you can also find us online at trains21.org and trains21.com. The world of railroading is always changing, evolving, and some might even say devolving. What's here today can easily be gone tomorrow, and if you're not careful and you blink, it just might pass you by. I'm Railfan AC, and you're watching Trains in the 21st Century. It's August 25th, 2020, and the end of summer is rapidly approaching us. We're in the small town of Conklin, New York, and the train that we're watching is the southbound Binghamton, New York to Enola, Pennsylvania bound 11Z. Train 11Z and its predecessors are the historical straight lines that we've been following since I started this channel. Over the years, 11Z has gone through many changes and incarnations, which even included at one time being a night train. The biggest change made to the Z is that today it can routinely exceed 10, 11, and even 12,000 feet since it now encompasses elements of the former 36T train that used to go to Allentown. A few miles up the line at Shaw Road is where the 11Z begins its journey. Trains usually stop here to receive their clearance to head on south. On NS, this comes in the form of track authority.
Today's leader, locomotive number 7688, is a General Electric ES44 DC model that was built in November of 2007 and placed in service the very next month in December. It's one of about 207 on the road, and like many GEs, it was originally a 4,000 horsepower diesel that was beefed up to its intended 4,400 horsepower in around 2015. It's a relatively lightweight loco weighing in at around 410,000 pounds, unlike its newer AC-powered cousins, which are heavily ballasted at 432,000 pounds. The 7688 is also one of the handful of DC Jeevos that came factory painted, unlike many Grey Ghost diesels of that era. It's equipped for electronically pneumatic train braking and has automatic engine stop and start. Like many locomotives, the 7688 had shown up in the region before. Last time I caught it was on the northbound train 11A out of Northumberland back around 2018. And as you can tell by the mini specialty flat cars, this is no ordinary train 11A. I'll explain why in another video. The most interesting unit in the consist to me was the trailing DC to AC converted number 4065. Originally Dash 940 CW 8785, the 4065 has the DC to AC lettering and the AC traction waveform symbol on the cab that I fancy so much. It began life as a top hat standard cab Dash 940C in January 1995 and was rebuilt into the 432,000 pound heavyweight we see here today in July of 2017. July of 17 being its rebuild month. I caught its sister locomotive number 4064 moving through CP Bethlehem in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania trailing second behind the Norfolk and Western Heritage Unit number 8103 on train 24Q, an empty bare tables train that runs about once a week from Atlanta, Georgia to the Intermodal Yards of North Jersey. And speaking of heritage units, another interesting Train 11Z came down the pike just a few weeks earlier on August 8, 2020 with the 1065 Savannah in Atlanta leading a 2GE DC and AC combo just like our Train 11Z is doing today. Back down at Powers Road, this is where the yard limits begin and end for the north and southbound trains. What I never knew was here is this automatic equipment identifier. These trackside rolling stock registering stations can be found all over Class 1s and even some regional short line and passenger lines all over North America. There are four of these AEIs as are most commonly known on the Sunbury and River lines and we'll be taking a detailed look at how they function in another upcoming video. That burned dairy truck brings back a lot of memories for me. You might remember in video T182 when I said this. At one time, Syracuse, New York was like a second home to me. At least once a week, sometimes more, I would pick up refrigerated loads of dairy at the various burned dairy plants all over the city. I saw many trucks like that back in my own truck driving days, and I even caught a few Susquehanna freights moving by when I was backed into the Syracuse, New York dock.
closer to home. For a while in 2020, meets between NS and DL trains were becoming fairly common at the Steamtown Y. It's October 23rd, and by chance I caught today's southbound train 11Z meeting the DL3. The 459 was an Enola to Binghamton manifest and the sister train to the 458 Binghamton to Enola Freight. In the final days of the Canadian Pacific in the region, rail service on the Big Red had shrunk into a pathetic few trains a week. The 458 and 459 combos ran with NS Power and CP Cruise and both trains, along with the 258-259 brother-sister Canadian Pacific combos, would work the Taylor Yard en route to their destinations. It all depended on which train was running that day. Like I said, a few trains per week or roughly one or two per day. The 459 was an evening train that was hard to catch in summer and impossible to catch in daylight during the shorter winter days. The one advantage that you had when hunting the 459 was the 19th century idiom that whatever goes up must come back down. This expression was literal as the locomotive power that went up on the 459 from Enola would typically come back down to Enola on the next train 458. So if you missed something good going north, which was likely, you had a chance to catch it when it came back south. Taylor was a favorite spot of mine in 2015 because most of the traffic on the line came through in the mornings and that meant a lot of train meets at either end of the yard. Back at the Y, October 23rd was a doubly good day of meets for me as not only was I able to catch the southbound 11Z but also its newly minted counterpart, the now Roanoke, Virginia to Binghamton, New York northbound train 12Z.
12Z is the old train 14R reincarnated, and I think it encompasses remnants of the old Roanoke to Enola, Pennsylvania train 16T. Whether it does or not, the train works several yards and terminals as it makes its way northbound. And to show you how fast things can change in railroading, in the year that I was absent from rail fanning, the 12Z went from being a Roanoke to Binghamton train to becoming a Knoxville, Tennessee to Enola, Pennsylvania train working Roanoke, Shenandoah, Hagerstown, and Harrisburg along the way. Today, this train has been rebranded yet again, this time as the Enola to Binghamton train 14Z. Basically the same train as the 14R, but a different name because you always come back to basics. Well, Z's end of train device symbolizes the end of part one of this coming back to rail fanning special. We'll pick things up right where we left off on part two coming in a few days. For Trains 21, call me AC.